It's no secret federal regulations are taking a bite out of what your kids can eat at school. We need to monitor calories, sodium, fat and sugars. Now they're hitting in school fundraisers and celebrations too. We're adapting some of the national guidelines and then we're being stricter in other areas. The whole idea is to help our students make better food choices. It's called the bake sale law. And as Alexandra Molina with McKellen ISD explains, it's an expansion of the 2010 Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act. It allows the USDA to set specific standards, not just for lunches, but any food consumed during school hours. That puts the brakes on bake sales and popular fundraisers. It was very hypocritical of a district to say we want our kids to be career and college ready, knowing that we have such an obesity problem, have kids sell large amounts of chocolate, large amounts of cookie dough. There's also new restrictions on in-school birthday and holiday celebrations. Instead of bringing in popular chain pizza into the classrooms, McAllen ISD parents are swapping it out for a low-calorie, healthier sweet potato crust option that the school school district offers for a small fee. McAllen ISD works with their food advisory committee to identify a list that meets USDA guidelines. That includes low calorie water, sports drinks and juices. Also pre-packaged light popcorn, chips and snacks, among other things. PTOs, boosters and parents can purchase these to sell or distribute for a nominal fee. When it comes to fundraisers, revenue is also being made through creative avenues. A lot of them are doing spirit shirts, they're doing buttons, they're doing some caps. Meantime, Molina says while it's taken time to adjust, the general reaction is positive. But she does stress the recipe for success starts with leadership for the kids. We're really pushing our principals, parents, and staff to really look at other ways to reward a good behavior without involving food. Victoria Marshall, Action 4 News.